Bumeister and welcome back to the Revenge of the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. Last time we made it to Mahogany Town, we explored a brown figure. Somebody's telling us we need to go see the Liquor Rage. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Only people headed up to the Lake of Rage have been through here lately. Alright. Well, if we follow the pathway, I'm gonna put the trainer for the moment. We're gonna come across this building. Trainer tips all Pokemon have pros and cons depending on their types. If their types differ, a higher level Pokemon may lose in battle. Learn which types are strong and weak against your Pokemon's type. Well, if we go through the building right now, it's a thousand dollars to go through the building every time. We're gonna hold off on that, and we'll just stick the long way around. Starting with this trainer! I can do so much with my Pokemon, and it's super fun! <clears throat> Is it now? We're gonna have our first battle with Meganium! Cloud Meganium. Oh, and like, the perfect opponent here! Sandshrew! Easy peasy. All right, who we got next? Who's up? Camper Spencer's about ready to use a Zubat. All right, Zell. <laughs> Excuse me. You're up. Yeah, I thought you'd throw some rocks at it. And then you can feel my pain. Red 13, the only Pokemon I've lost so far in the Nuzlocke was a Zubat. And Sand Slash. No, we haven't used Squall in a little bit. So let's go ahead and send out Squall, and we're just gonna give it a big old surf. Again, I'm very glad that Generation 3 hadn't uh, introduced abilities. Or Gen 2 hadn't introduced abilities yet, because could you imagine some of these Pokemon having, like, sturdy? No, thank you. All right, losing isn't much fun at all, which I apologize. And just to check the Poke gear, we are on Route 43. The only other place to go is, like, a rage up here. So we do, have an, we do get an encounter, and that encounter will happen to be... A Flaffy! Okay. We can do Flappy. Um, I want Garnet though. Garnet's gonna probably take a little bit of damage. Possibly either Tackle or Thundershock. Yep, Thundershock. Now we're gonna try and put it to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little Flaffy! Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Flaffy is fast asleep. Alright, I'm gonna try... A poison stick! Flappy woke up. Oh, of course it did! Don't poison. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and throw like a great ball. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna try it. Go on. All right, Flaffy was added to the Pokedex. Flaffy, wool. Its fluffy fierce ease or er, fluffy fleece easily stores electricity. Its rubbery hide keeps it from being electrocuted. All right, now here comes the fun part. I need to give it a name, and I've run through the names in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> you know what? We'll go 10-2 for this one, so I don't have to... Uh. Sit here and burn through a little extra time. Pain! The the third protagonist of... Uh, Final Fantasy X-2. Okay, so Pain's been added to the box.
And I immediately come across the trainer. Are you going to Lake Ranger 2? Let's play for a little while. Okay. Let's go. What do you got? For me. Picnic Tiffany has a Clefairy. Level 20 Clefairy. Okay. World. The game gives you the option to come here first or that or go over the sea. Because technically, this is the seventh gym badge. Play too much. Yeah, because technically, this is the seventh gym badge. But the area uh, the area levels are closer to what you what we kind of find if you're taking on or after you took on um, what's his face. I was gonna try it. Another Flappy. Pretty sure it's still morning time, so you would think that I would have a better chance of fighting Giraffe Rig, the other encounter that I kind of sort of wanted. But having Flappy will help. Nice electric type. <laughs> Alright, let's actually switch out. You know, I'm going to go ahead and go and start out with Freya here. We'll start with Freya. As soon as I can get around the corner. There's a Mareep. Mareep's a rare chance of giraffe rig. Critical hit with one kick to the face. All right. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? All right, are you a Pokemaniac? You are, yes you are. Brent's got himself a Lickitung! Travis's favorite Pokemon. And I'm gonna kick it in the face. Actually, technically I kicked it in the tongue. <laughs> oh, so close, Freya. Ooh, stop. So I'll just hit it with the poison sting in the fight. Court. Brent was saying my poor, poor Pokemon, and he was defeated. All right, so we get this Pokeball here. Find a Max Ether. Score. All right, so if we head up the, the pathway, we do eventually come across like a range. I think it's up that way. Well, we got a couple trainers, including another Pokemaniac. Would you get this? Some gold guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. <laughs> well, let's see what Pokemon he got there, Pokemaniac. Ron has a Nidoking. All right. All right, double kick should be neutral. Yeah. Oh, not very effective. I guess because of the poison typing, which is weird. That's scratch, that should probably be not very effective. A uh, neutral effective, okay. Yeah, because we're poison type, but I figured because he's po poison ground, it would end up being neutral? <coughs> Excuse me. Freya's taking a beating and currently. Keeps on ticking. Go Freya. Look at that. We'll give you a we'll give you a super potion here in a minute, Freya. It put up more of a fight than I anticipated, that's for sure. But yes, Freya! It's super awesome level up. Or super awesome healing. I should say. We're gonna cross the water and see if can remember. There's a Pidgeotto! I'm not sure I have giraffe rig. In this grass. Pretty sure I have that. In this grass is... <laughs> yeah, there is the back way. We also have... 
I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. I can't remember what's back this direction. Oh, the fisherman. I thought you were a hiker. All right, Marvin, what do you got? You got a magic card. Maybe that's why you're in a slump. Just saying, just saying. Yeah, no experience whatsoever out of these match cards. Ah, that's Gyarados. Me and my big mouth spoke a little too soon here. At level 10, that's a severely underleveled Gyarados, though. Let's throw some rocks at it. <laughs> Gets plenty of experience, though. Next up is another magic art. Baron, you haven't been used yet. Let's get you in the fight. Let's go. Heck, we'll use Peck. Again, like no experience. And another Gyarados. We'll keep Gyarados this time. Oh yeah. If anything, this Gyarados might no tackle. Oh no, Thrash. Thrash must be a uh, from start move then, because it does learn Thrash when you hit level 20. <coughs> Excuse me. Fisher Marvin, however, was defeated. So if we come up here... Well, if we are in the Laker... Ooh, a full restore! Yes, please. We are in the Laker Age. <laughs> Let's go, Cloud! This is, a, this is a bit of a maze, if I remember correctly. Alright, found a rare candy. That'll help. Do some leveling up in the future. We need it. You see that po you see that item ball up there? I want the item ball. I don't know if this is the way I need to go for it. This might be just a dead end. Oh no, there's an item ball here. Max Ether. Alright, I'll take it. I'll come in handy for the Elite Four later. But that wasn't the where I wanted to go. This way. Yep. Glad I went this way because they got a T got TM43. What is TM43? TM43 is uh, if I can get there. Detect. And you saw the saw the line there. It may fail if you use it over the one time in a row. It will. It has a high chance of failing. So I guess I didn't get the item. What's inside the house here? You have strayed far. Here I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this child. I got TM10. It's TM10. Do you see it? Oh, it's hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this, it's type and power pinned on the Pokemon's using it. I'm meditating. Alright, so we got ourselves a couple TMs, a few useful items for the eventual run down the Elite Four. There's at least one more trainer that I know of that we need to take on here at the Laker Rage. Now, as a reminder, 
I am going to try and catch the Red Gyarados. Red Gyarados is a unique encounter. It's a static encounter, so he will go in the special box. The box just for the encounter such as that one. So this might actually be my chance to catch a Gyarados. Or a match, or get a match. Oh no, I can't get it. I might save it. Another Flappy. Gonna run. Uh. Yeah. Nope. Well, eventually. Because we're going to need to do some grinding eventually, because there's a big level jump between fighting the 16th gym leader and, um, in red. I love Pokemon, that's why I started, and why I'll keep a cl on collecting Pokemon. Of course, this game's like 20 years old. You already know who the 16th gym leader is. It's blue. Pokemon Yak Ben sends out Slowbro. Uh, Freya, you can get right on out of there. Water gun, okay. Not the attack I expected. It's the attack I got, but it's not the attack I expected. I was fully expecting, you know, uh, much harder hitting um, confusion. But. Alright, so as far as I know, that was all the trainers there. So if we check the map, the Poke Gear map, we are in fact at the Liquor Rage. Uh, if we talk to the fishermen here, Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rain and water, and then the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch a lively magic carp there, but I don't understand what's happening. Fishing Guru. I can't remember in this game if there's a catching contest, so to speak. Um, if you find a Garrett, or if you happen to catch a magic card, you can go there and get it rated. I know in Gen 4 you can do that. I don't know about Gen 2. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. That they are. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. <laughs> now, if I also remember right in Gen 4, um... Gyarados here at Laker Rage. Or, no, sorry. Uh, Laker Rage. Oh, my headbutt. Okay. Max Potion. That's what I was looking for. Was a hidden item. Now I'm just kind of going and searching things. Usually dead ends like that. Usually, not always have an item. I heard this lake was made by rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to their mass, oh, mass breakout now. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, we are going to go ahead and switch into Garnet, though. Why? Because Garnet can put Gyarados to sleep in theory. We'll talk to the old man here. The Gyarados are angry. Oh, talk to him. I guess I did talk to him already. All right, water is calm. Let's go ahead. Encounter. The Static Red Gyarados! Also, the first ever shiny Pokemon that you would have come across if you didn't get lucky to find one. Ooh, Dragon Rage! We need to put it to sleep now! And it needs to stay asleep. Hit it a couple times. 
Stay asleep, stay asleep, thank you. I'm gonna heal Garnet real quick. Dragon, Wa Dragon Rage deals a static 40 damage. So meaning I can only take technically three of these and it's fine. All right, let's just throw. What do I got for? Let's go try an Ultra Ball. Why not? Why not? Let's try an Ultra Ball. Okay. Garrett is still fast asleep. Let's try another. Try another headbutt. We killed it. Garnet, you are too good. But we still got a red scale regardless. And it would just been nice to actually have the red Gyarados. The Gyarados are angry? Okay. But now we have a new person here. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the magic carp is being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're silver. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Silver. I can tell you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure. Excellent. It seems that the lake's magic carp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Silver. Well, it, it sucks that I didn't get that You know, it's a bummer that I didn't end up getting the red Gyarados. I took out the shiny. The one time I didn't want a critical hit, and we got a critical hit. <coughs> Alright, thank you for waiting. Pokemon are fully healed. Hope to see you again. Alright. So, for next episode, we're going to take out, or we're going to take on Rocket's Hideout. So come join me in the next one, shall we? Until then, I am the Bellmeister, and I have been obediently yours.